Well, the video you're about to see is from yesterday. I was sitting around thinking about something and uh, actually I was kind of bored, so. I, I started thinking about uh, the design of a throttle body. You know what a throttle body is? It's got the plate. It's pretty much a butterfly valve. So it's That's basically how it opens. The design on that hasn't changed for who knows how long. I mean, go back to any old carburetor, it's got a butterfly valve in there. So, so right now I just opened up the Bronco and popped the hose off the throttle body. Just in case you don't know what a throttle body looks like, I'm gonna show you a throttle body, okay? I just did that right now. I'm going to combine this with a video I made yesterday with some illustrations. Kind of, you know, this, this idea was going through my mind for an, for an improved throttle body design. Is it possible? I don't know. It's just a concept, you know. It's just something I... Going through my mind. Is it possible? Would it make any improvements? I don't really know. So, I figured I'd just throw it out there let you guys take a look at it. See what you thought. Hmm. It just been baffling me. I wish I had some uh, dyno equipment or something, machine shop, and uh, you know, I could actually make one of these up. You know, some money to throw around, and um, I need to design the actual throat for the throttle body because this will have an adjustable throat instead of having the uh, instead of having the plate in there. The plate. I'll explain what I see the deficiencies in that plate. Um, the throttle plate. I think this would be an improvement. I don't know. Just one of those, could be one of those wacky thoughts I get in my head now and then. So take a look at it. Make a comment. See what you think. Will it work? I don't know. Again to die. Oh, why? Looking at uh, throttle bodies recently, you know, throttle bodies. Actually, throttle bodies haven't changed much. The fuel fuel injection uh, still uses a throttle body, which is basically a plate in a tube, and it throttles the airflow into the engine. And they've been using that as long as carburetors have been around. I mean, we use them in plumbing. It's actually called a butterfly valve. So, I was thinking, since no one's made a huge improvement on that throttle body, nothing that I've seen lately, I got an idea. All right. Here's your basic throttle body. This is just a quick drawing here for those of you who don't know. Here's just an illustration of a throttle body at part throttle, okay? Now, when that turns like that, it's going to open a little gap up on the bottom here. It's supposed to be red. It's going to open up and the airflow is going to squeeze through the bottom and the top around the edges of that plate because that plate is actually round. My theory is that's not a very efficient way to go. All right, my theory is that's not very efficient. Because as the air comes in, it has to go around this throttle plate. And then it has to squeeze through the ends here. And as it comes out this side, it's got to expand. So it's not going to flow nice and straight. It's going to do these little eddy currents and stuff because it's going from a high pressure to a low pressure. 
instead of flowing straight in, it's going to do this stuff, this thing. Get it? Get it? All right. Let's open the throttle body up a little more and go to the next step here. Let's get rid of this one here. Now it's becoming more efficient as the throttle body is opening. Air's roaring through here, going around the throttle body, flowing a little better. But really not that efficient until it's full open. Till it's at a full throttle position. It's all the way up. And now the air is really flowing through there. Nice and smooth. And efficient. Alright, so if you got that part down, I'm going to move on to my improved throttle body idea. In case anybody out there tries to steal my idea, I'll get you. Alright. If anybody used a funnel before, you know how efficient a funnel is? Starts off large, tapers in towards the middle, everything flows good. Now that's liquid. Usually liquids flow real good through a funnel. We're going with air here, airflow. Okay. So, Picture this. Picture an adjustable orifice right here for the air to go through. This way your air is rushing in. Compresses. Actually speeds up as it goes through. Here. And as it exits, it expands nice and smooth. And the velocity stays up there where it's supposed to be. A lot more efficient design right there, okay? Now, if you can't picture what I'm talking about here, the center point right here would be adjustable. Right now, it's at a closed throttle. Open throttle, it'll open up. See that? Full throttle. Part throttle, full throttle, part throttle. So let me draw you one more diagram showing you at part throttle. All right, all right. Here's the here's the throttle at part throttle. Okay. Here's the dog throttle body at part throttle. See how much, how smoother the air would flow through here, more efficient flow. That's all I'm looking for. More efficient flow coming through this throttle body. Now, how to make this work? At first, I was thinking of like a uh, what's that? The aperture on a camera. You know how the uh, the lens can sh shrink and close for uh, adjusting for light conditions. But I need something round, something smooth full throttle, this would open up even more, you know, see that, like that, Whoosh. full throttle, part throttle, squeeze down, mm. open, closed, so, what can you do with that, I had one, I had one theory on how to make this work, and I'll show you that right now, but I was thinking of using some kind of a flexible membrane in the throttle body. So to demonstrate just the theory to see if the mechanics would work, I needed a piece of tube and a piece of a rubber tube. So what I got was a bicycle inner tube and the hose from the vacuum cleaner. Just for demonstration purposes only, see if you guys get the whole concept I'm talking about. Well, it's work, I don't know, but it's just the concept, you know. Anybody out there can build upon this concept. This would be your throttle body right here. See that? That would be the throttle body. Can you picture it? Okay. 
Air's running through there. Okay, that's full throttle. So what we're going to do is we're going to spring load this thing, and it's going to work on a twisting motion like that. That's closed throttle, part throttle, full throttle. Closed throttle, part throttle, vroom, vroom, vroom. So you get the idea? I think that's the best way to simulate a a cone shape or a funnel shape design. See that even adds a little vortex on there with the, with the rubber. You picture it now? Closed, open, closed, open. Now if you're wondering what a vortex is, vortex is a spinning effect. As you see the twist, would have to twist with the vortex. Mm, closed, open, closed, open. Will it work? How to make it work? I'm not too sure. Like I said, this is theory sh stuff. This is the kind of stuff that goes through my head sometimes. But I haven't seen improvement on a throttle body or on a butterfly valve. I originally was going to make it out of this. This is some leftover aluminum tubing I got left over, but I couldn't find a flexible hose or anything to go between the two. Hmm. Materials, you know. Now that was just an inner tube. I'm sure it can be improved with something. What? I don't know. I don't have the, all the uh, facilities. What do you call it? I just don't have the stuff. I don't have the money. I don't have anything to play around with stuff like this. But uh, hmm, get the idea. This would be your throttle body. That's about the size of a good throttle body right there. Have a little twisty in between there. All right. Okay. Now that I got.